All right, so you guys voted for the Valley of Remembrance. Now, this domain was one of the first domains that I really got into and that I really wanted to actually farm. Um, this domain, in my opinion, is one of the easiest domains to start farming. Not necessarily that it is easy to farm, but it is one of those that you can easily build up characters to do good damage here. And it makes this domain relatively easy once you get everything set up. So just as like a, a quick, I don't wanna watch the whole video kind of thing. If you are planning on farming this domain, Razor is amazing. Um, but if you don't even have Razor, then you could actually just build Kaya as a physical DPS with like prototype Rancor, stuff like that. It's gonna be pretty freaking good. So this domain actually got 57% of 10,000 votes uh, from you guys. So that's cool. So if I actually take a quick glance at what Valley of Remembrance is all about, if we actually look here, we can see a leyline disorder of physical damage dealt by all party members is increased by 75%. So that ends up meaning between level one and five, it's all gonna be the same leyline disorder, which means we don't really have to worry about any kind of like damage being taken from random reactions and stuff like that. Like, pfft. We're good. We can we can just kind of do our thing when it comes to physical damage. Now I am gonna make a couple of assumptions like I do with most of these videos. I am gonna assume that you're not really trying to farm at level 30 or even at level 25 at the adventure ranks, um, simply because it's not very wise to use your resin at that point. You wanna be using your resin for other things like weapon ascension or character ascension materials. Uh, don't really worry about farming artifacts this early. I personally wouldn't recommend that you start farming um, even at AR 35. I would say that AR 40 is kind of your like bare minimum, but I know that there are a couple of cases to be made that farming for artifacts at AR 35, if you don't have anything else to farm for and you need to be using your resin, you can use those, um, you can use that resin to farm for artifacts with the intention of just using those artifacts for fuel later on. So for this specific uh, video, what we're gonna do is go through level three, just in case there are some people out there that wanna be farming that early, uh, level four and level five. Now, I typically try to take the free to play approach with this. You may have different characters, you may have different setups for your stuff. I'm just gonna kind of give a quick guideline on how I would do it and you can kind of adapt it and fit it to your specific scenario. So starting with level three, let's take a look here. So we actually do have uh, we have 18 treasure hoarders. We have one of the pyro Fatui uh, agent guys. And then we have one of the Fatui electro Sensen mages. So this is going to pose an interesting balance here because essentially the pyro mage and the Sensen mage can um, kind of mess you up and allow you to take overload damage. So this is going to kind of be an interesting thing where you could in turn um, use some potions if you needed to, to help reduce damage for yourself. Um, but there's not really like any essential oils that you could use to help do extra damage unless for whatever reason you are wanting to take an elemental approach to this but i would highly recommend because of the ley line disorder that you take a physical damage approach which in that case there are four foods that I would actually recommend that you use for this particular domain. Uh, essentially, we have the cold cut platter, which uh, kind of is a pain to cook because it does take uh, quite a, a varied bit of ingredients. You need a lot of meat for this, but essentially if you uh, take some ham, some bacon, some sausage, and some mint, you can actually make this cold cut platter. What it does is at perfect, cooking, you'll actually increase your physical damage by 30% for a whole five minutes. So that's actually really good. Now, this is the exact same thing, except Fischl has to be the one cooking this and you have the chance to get a, uh, a special dish that Fischl actually cooks. And what it actually does is it increases all party members physical damage by 55%. So if you have Fischl, then this actually could be a really nice thing for you to do. If you don't have Fischl though, you can easily just go with the cold cut platter. Then we also have Tian Shu. Meat, I, that, I don't know if that's right, but uh, four pieces of meat, two sugars, two of the uh, ching chin, I don't know. Uh, and then we have one of these mushroom looking things, ma, matsutake, I don't know. And it's actually going to, I think, be slightly better than the coca platter just because it actually does give you two different stat increases. It's gonna increase physical damage by 30% and your crit rate by 8%, which is pretty freaking nice. And then we also do have the Juyun Guaba, gu Guaba, I don't know. And this one essentially takes two of these horsetails, uh, two things of rice, two things of ham, and one, or sorry, one thing of ham and one thing of these Juyun chilies. It's going to increase all party members' physical damage by 30% for five whole minutes. I definitely think that uh, 
this would be like absolute top tier. And then it would be this one if you have Fischl. And then it would be, these two are pretty much tied. They, they do the exact same thing. This one, this one's probably harder to obtain just because it takes all the process stuff. This one's not nearly as bad. You can buy a lot of rice and you, these are pretty readily available. Anyways, that kind of food stuff is gonna be really, really good for all levels of the domain. So we'll probably revisit that for each level. So since we are dealing with Pyro and Electro in this particular level from the two mages, uh, you could end up crafting whichever potion you feel like, you know, kind of helps you. Uh, one thing to consider is that if your elemental resonance gives you a resistance to one over the other, you could spread out the resistance by doing the opposite of what your resonance gives you, or you could double up on the one that your resonance gives you so that you can double resist maybe Electro or double resist maybe Pyro, not necessarily double, but you, you, increase the resistance for that specific element all right so physical damage is going to be increased as you can see here's the team that we're going to be rocking kaya lisa atticus which is uh, me and then we have amber so uh like i said you can kind of tailor this to whatever you have like i obviously like I said at the very beginning, Razor does really, really good here just because everything that he does is pretty much physical and uh, Fischl actually does a lot of good work here, but let's go ahead and try this out. So we do have 60 seconds to begin with. So since this one is time dependent, my main goal here is trying to pretty much focus on keeping my time up. We've, we've gone over a lot of uh, domains lately that have this weird time mechanic where you have to pay attention to your time and make sure that you don't lose too much time. My main goal with those is literally just to try to keep some enemies kind of low while I work on other enemies. And if I need to, I can kind of just go back and specifically target those enemies that are pretty low to begin with. And it will help me keep the time up. Rip. Rip. No. Now for this guy specifically, I do want him to, uh, do want him to die. So I'm going to target him here. Now do remember that the Fatui, these agents here actually do have, um, extra resistance to whatever element they kind of correspond to so they actually do have a resistance to pyro and the electro sense will have resistance to the electro elements so just kind of keep that in mind as well And we have the Sin Sin coming out here. Okay. Not the smoothest of runs. It took me six and a half minutes. The biggest thing about this level is that you don't necessarily have to worry about completing it as quickly before your time runs out. You are in control of time more than it leads on. Essentially get some enemies weak and start working on other enemies. And once your time starts to get low, just go clean up the other enemies really quickly and you should get a ton of time. And then as you do that, you can kind of snowball into more time and more time and more time. I like to think of these kind of situations like a like a ladder or a set of steps where I just kind of do a little bit here, do a little bit more, do a little bit more and slowly just staircase my way upwards. So at level four, you can see we do have five treasure hoarders. We have one of the pyro mages and we have one of the sin sin mage yet again. So this time around, it's just defeat seven opponents within 360 seconds. Um, considering that, you know, everything is pretty much the exact same. I mean, of course, if you needed to cook any or if you needed to craft any kind of essential oils for your dominant element, or if you wanted to, again, have the heat shield potion or maybe the insulation potion, those work well. And of course, any of the foods that we've previously talked about also still work really well here. 
All right, so for level four, same exact team setup. Um, I'm gonna eat a little bit of food here just to make sure I'm not completely weak. And here we go. So since this one, we are pretty much time gated, we need to kind of do, kind of do as much damage as we can quickly. So I would, in this scenario, try to focus on one enemy at a time. And you should be able to quickly break through here. All right. So once we get through all of the treasure hoarders, we should be able to take on both of these guys at the same time. I feel like the Sin Sin is going to be a little bit easier for me. So we also do have these electric... Force fields, I guess, is what you want to call them. And just remember that the, uh, the enemies do have specific resistances and stuff, so you kind of have to be careful with that. I'm just going to run away here, let the shield run out. Come on, dude. Nice, we got stuck. What? Okay, hear me out. That was a little unorthodox. I literally <laughs> I literally had like everyone die except for Amber, so I kind of had to, you know, do what I had to do, but once you defeat all the treasure hoarders, just slowly take down the other two guys, relatively easy. Now, for level 5, this is going to be the more difficult one. Five enemies, right? Three treasure hoarders, one of the pyro one of the electros. So all the same stuff still applies unless you just need essential oils for your specific element or if you want resistances for one of the other, you can do that. And all of these uh, foods still apply as well. All right, pretty much the exact same team, except I did switch over to the Animo version of uh, Traveler. So let's try this here. Ah. Okay, so the biggest gist of doing level freaking five is Animo makes so much more sense than almost any other element. And that's probably gonna be best demonstrated by literally me showing you just how to do this stage quickly. So it, typically at this part of the video, this is where I kind of go through and I say, hey, like this is like how to, how to do it, how I do it. This is how I try to like do it quickly. Honestly, the biggest deal in this domain is bring some sort of crowd control animo animo works best in my opinion but you could technically just bring like zhongli to help you know petrify and stuff like that if you had him or um even things like child with veridescent makes a little bit of sense um well it's really just the veridescent in general but any kind of crowd control works really really well here sucrose venti animo mc uh, Vera doesn't hunt on any kind of bow user typically and then after that it can really 
just kind of be whoever you want to bring in. So I'm going to show off uh, two, I guess, different builds. Essentially, we're going to have one build where Venti is going to suck everyone up. Uh, Ganyu can just kind of throw down um, icicles from wherever. And uh, yeah, Razor can just kind of clean up everything afterwards. So let's kind of go over this one and then I'll show you one with uh, I'll show you one with official, which is what I typically use uh, for this domain. So what I do is pop pop and go ahead and hit start and you'll notice that brings everybody in and then you can just literally and then we can use razor to just kind of clean up here now razor probably isn't the best up against the uh sin sin mage but he still does really nice like up against this guy cut bruh bruh Oh my. Yeah, see, <laughs> he just shreds through that guy. That's pretty nutty. Now, that's that wasn't like that that was actually not that great in terms of uh how fast it was, but oh, let's try this again. Oh, that was I didn't mean to do that, but Oh well. Now see that was a lot cleaner. Uh not as clean as it could have been, but uh, you know. Razor is like oh my god. Now for what it's worth, I do think that Razor it probably does a little bit better for me than Fischl, Um, just in terms of like theory crafting, how this plays out in my head, just because Fischl is a bow user, it does kind of limit her targeting to literally one enemy at a time. So it can make this kind of frustrating sometimes, but pretty much the same concept here. And I threw in Sucrose just to kind of give, uh, oh, well, I don't have Venti. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll do it with Sucrose. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And we can just do this, and do this, and do this. Go ahead and do this. Oh, I literally thought she was dead. <laughs> So not not quite as fast, but you can kind of understand that uh, officials just the way that she targets enemies and stuff like that. It doesn't really work out nearly as good as Razor, in my opinion. But of course, whichever one you have built is going to literally excel. Um, but yeah. So in terms of character selection, this one is going to kind of be honestly up to whatever you have built. And because physical builds are probably some of the easier builds to start out with, I think that's why I like this domain as a really solid starting point. Essentially, Kaya is a really easy physical build to start out with because of the way he scales, the, the fact that you can get prototype Rancor on him. Uh, you can pretty much start out with a really solid build on Kaya. If you do end up getting Razor, of course, Razor works really well. My Razor doesn't, like, he's, he's not even that, like, insane. Um, he has the physical damage bonus literally just because of the three-star weapon that I have on him. So it's not like my Razor is even, like, optimal settings, but... He does really, really well because he ascends with physical damage because he has a really solid physical damage uh, weapon and you could prototype Aminus or prototype Archaic. Uh, also fits him really well. He's pretty free to play friendly in terms of this specific domain. Uh, Fischl, of course, also works really well with Compound Bow. Um, she is, of course, the other uh, thing that I would recommend. And then outside of that, I think this is where Animo really redeems itself. Kind of fitting considering that you get Animo artifacts from this place, but Animo really does bring a comeback here. Not so much Jean, but Venti and Sucrose for sure. And then Animo MC, if you had to use them, you could. I definitely would prefer either Venti or Sucrose over them, but uh, Animo MC works just fine. And then beyond that, I mean, it literally is just whatever synergizes well for your team. If you want a elemental resonance for, you know, reduced 
pyro damage or electro damage like we were talking about earlier you know whatever you feel like you need to go with um i will call out zhang li for making uh petrification work uh child for well it's not really child but child is like the one character that i feel like uses the veridescent hunt to its like really really maximum potential so I would call out the Veridescent Hunt just in general. Whoever you have that can utilize that uh, will actually do pretty good here. Uh, Sin Yun actually could do some pretty good work because of the way her ult works. It scales with physical damage, so you could build her. Uh, and then, yeah. But yeah, this domain doesn't really focus too much on elemental side of things like most of the other ones do. So this one's kind of unique, which I feel like may throw some people for a loop. But uh, just break it down and just imagine that every single one of these enemies already has a resistance to physical damage as it is they already start with a native negative 10 i want to say negative 10 percent resistance so you're already going to be doing more physical damage than you normally would plus the ley line disorder increases that 75 percent um so i mean that's uh pretty pretty nuts yeah, so hopefully this helps uh, someone out there with this domain if, uh, you know, I would say that probably one of my favorite paths to tell people um, if they feel like their world level is messed up, if they feel like they are unable to complete content because they just don't have the DPS to outscale what they have in their world, then this particular domain is like top choice for me because if you work into getting a physical damage dealer built up, you can easily start farming even level four. Like you don't have to farm level five. It's not like it's a, you know a huge deal. It, it makes it better because it's a guaranteed five star artifact drop, but it's not like absolutely necessary. But you could start to build up a decent uh, Veritas and Veneer set, and then that will help you reduce the elemental resistance of other enemies in the game so that your elemental damage will do more damage. And then you can kind of get yourself back on track in other domains and stuff like that. I think that's what this domain is really good for. It's to help you get back on track if you ever feel like you have lost your footing in the world. So yeah, hopefully you got something out of this video. We will put up another poll once this video is done and uploaded. Uh, and then we'll just kind of go from there. I don't think we actually have too many domains left. Uh, we pretty much have... We haven't really touched any of the talent books and we've only done one of the weapon ascension materials. So those are kind of... I, I, I suspected that people were going to be more into artifact farming, of course, than... Uh, than those types of materials but uh we will get to those eventually and once we throw the next poll up you guys can vote and we'll see where we go next so yeah thank you guys so much freaking out thanks so much for watching um see ya major shout out to cherry blue who is a youtube member